Hi everyone. In this video, I want to show you how to level your 3D printer bed after you install the CR Touch. I've noticed that are some issues and people are complaining about the leveling portion of it. So let me do a quick video to kind of explain the steps. First, after you do the wiring and the initial installation, you still want to level the bed the old fashioned way. What I mean by the old fashioned way, I mean the paper and then disable the steppers and then do the thing, right? So that's the first thing to ensure that the bed is leveled uh, across all four corners, right? You don't want to have one corner uh, tighter than others uh, or like the, you don't want your bed not to be uh, parallel with the X axis, right? So first we'll disable the steppers. So you're gonna go here, you're gonna go to prepare and then disable steppers, right? After you auto home, you go down and then go down to the paper level thin, and then you do all four corners, you get the idea until you get the paper to kind of tuck. So uh, what I'm gonna do is I will lower this down until I reach the paper, right? And then I'll just pull on it. See, that's exactly the friction you want. You want to still be able to move the paper, but not uh, like smoothly. You still want some friction. Check all four corners. Uh, you know, now we're like, I got this corner, so I'll move the, I'll move to the other corner and then so on and do all four and then move, move that and then get all four corners. After you do that, now we know the bed is leveled at least uh, parallel to the X axis. Now we're going to go and auto home the printer first. So here's what we're going to do. Uh, go to prepare and then auto home. This will find the zero for the Z axis according to the CR touch. Now, ideally, the CR touch will sit while it's deployed. It'll sit a little bit under the nozzle and while it's stowed it would sit above the nozzle so the difference between the cr touch while it's deployed and the nozzle that's the z-axis offset so we did auto home the printer found the zero for the z-axis according to the cr touch but that does not mean this is the zero for the actual Z axis because there is the CR touch zero and there is the real zero based on the nozzle because the nozzle and the CR touch are not in alignment when the CR touch is deployed. So we're going to find that uh, difference, uh, which we're going to offset the Z axis with. So uh, before I confuse you here, or maybe I already confused you enough, but again, we're going to level the bed the or the old fashioned way using the paper you auto home the printer after you auto home the printer you want to go down until the nozzle touch the paper again and see what's the uh z axis um so here i'll show you so we go to prepare move axis and then go to the z-axis and then move it down so we'll move this down until we reach a number that our z-axis is touching the paper and that's the number that we're going to offset so it's going to be different for each printer like whatever number i get it might not apply to your printer uh, but you're going to have to find your number so i'm going to take this down until I find the number where it is tugging on my on the paper, right? So you see, like still lose. I'm gonna go down again. So go down until it is you find the value, right? And then test it on the paper. Whatever the value is that you want the bed to be leveled at, then you're gonna go and offset. So after that. We go to um, 
we go to control and then bed leveling and then prop z offset then here you will offset by the amount that it was presented in the initial step when you move the z-axis down and that's the difference between the cr touch while it's deployed and the end of your nozzle after you dial that in and also i found that it's probably better to heat up the bed while you do this step for some reason because of the springs and the metal and everything expand when it's heated so if you do this while it's cold and then you print the bed is hot the alignment is not perfect and the the leveling is not exact so i would recommend heating up the bed to like 60 degrees while you do the uh, leveling i and I, I was more successful and got a better result doing so so and then you're gonna offset by that amount hopefully that will work after you dial that in actually you don't really need to uh, re-level the bed or do any adjustment even if you change the bed which i by the way i have another video that i switched the bed with a thicker bed and the printer automatically find the depth and allow you to print right away so it's a one-time hassle that you have to kind of deal with but after you dial that in you should be good to go and don't really need to mess with it even if you change the bed or uh, have like a thicker bed or, or whatever adjustment you make it should be fine unless obviously like uh, one of those um, springs here or pads get tightened up or loosen up then that's a different story but generally speaking you don't really need to mess with it a lot hopefully this is helpful i've been messing with this for the past couple of days and it's been it's been working great for me if you have any questions leave them in the comment below i'll do my best to help you out um thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one